everyone welcome back in this particular video we are going to see why our evils next domain or link turning into the red page something like this so right now in this particular example it is saying uh, dangerous side don't go ahead right sometimes it might say that phishing alert right so how exactly this is happening what are the reasons behind it and how exactly we can fix it that's what we are going to see in, in this particular video okay so without wasting time let's get onto the our board and let's try to understand the reasons behind it and how we can fix it but before before going forward here is a quick disclaimer uh, this video is only for educational purpose. Don't misuse this knowledge. If you are going to misuse this knowledge, then I'll be not responsible for your any action. Okay, back to the video. So right now on the board, can you see I have added very first reason, which is source code. So why source code? Because in the Evilgenix source code, there are two things that are intentionally added by the Evilgenix developer. The very first thing is it has added the X-E header okay so whenever we send link to the victim and victim click on the link and then evilgenix server is responsible for sending that traffic to the original domain right so while sending that traffic to the original domain it adds one header called xe and that header is being uh, used to detect if user is using the uh, evilgenix or not okay and most of the popular website like yahoo office and google are using exactly same method to detect if the user is using evilgenix or not okay the second thing is in the header itself it is leaking the original host okay so let's say my original website is 55.in but my phishing domain or my phishing link start with the uh, xyz.com or phishing.com then what evilgenix is doing is it is leaking that phishing.com to the original website so that they can detect it okay so it is basically uh leaking the leaking original host okay or original domain you can say that the second thing is the network level so if you have already taken my course then you probably know what is the network level protection okay but let's go back to the network and let's try to understand how exactly network is creating the problem so whenever we create the website what happens there are bots out there so google has their own bot for stepping the website and listing on the google yahoo also got the bot there are some private companies that also has the bot so what they does is they basically make the request to your website and try to check what is the content of your website and if that particular content is matching with the some other website or some popular website like office and google then you will be declared as a phishing site that's the first thing the second thing is whenever they make the request they will check these two things the header and the original host also right and in that particular process you might get caught okay now how exactly we can prevent that particular thing so i recommend using the cloudflare as always so when we use the dns level protection dns level protection cloudflare is a dns level protection by the way so when we use the dns level protection and when we enable the cloudflare bot defense mechanism or the bot defense function then what happens whatever the requests are coming like google bots why yahoo bot DuckDuckGo bot or any other private company bot all of these bot requests will be blocked okay so that this way no bot will reach to the, our website and hence they will not get bot on our website so here we are pro, like uh, preventing checking the content of the website also and preventing checking the headers of the website okay so what exactly is a solution for these two problems the solution is a simple you have to modify your evilgenic source code and remove where it is adding the header and remove where it is adding the original host also i have that source code fixed already and it's available in the evilgenic training material so you can check that out the next thing is the network level network level is a really dangerous thing why because first of all in the network level whenever we create the website we get lot of traffic suddenly on our website so what exactly is that particular traffic so whenever we create any website google sends bot 
to crawl the website so that they can list the website on the google search engine similarly yahoo also does the same and other private companies also does the same some private companies are using that particular data to train their ai models but yeah you got the idea bots are coming to your website and fetching the content now so when bot fetch that particular content they matches your content and check what exactly in the content especially google so if your website content is matching with the one of the popular site out there let's say office or live.com then your domain will be declared as a phishing domain that's the first thing the second thing is they will check your header this header and they will check original host also if it is a phishing website then also it will declare as a phishing website okay so how exactly we can avoid that so especially uh, in my opinion there are two levels where you can block that first level is obviously the dns level you can say very basic level and the second level is creating the firewall okay firewall so what is exactly the dns level so in the dns level i recommend use the cloudflare as a dns okay why because cloudflare has a one function in it that we can enable and we can enable the bot fight mode or bot protection so what happens whenever the google yahoo and other platforms are sending the bots to the crawl the data check what exactly in the website then what happens the cloudflare will automatically block all of those bots okay so by this way we can neglect almost 80 percent of the risk okay so i'll say here 80 percent of the risk we can neglect now the second thing is firewall so whenever you create the lows link make sure that you have firewall enabled so this way if you are not sharing that particular link with the someone and if try uh, someone is trying to basically forcefully check your website content then their ip address will be get blocked automatically okay so that's the firewall this also works really great but i recommend setting the this first and the second this because if we try to set up only this without the dns then what will happen there are crazy ip addresses which will get blocked and it will eventually load up your file system okay so that's why i don't recommend only setting up this it only it should be only set up in the combination both of these two things okay now the next thing is obviously the fishlet on the fishlet level we are doing some mistakes that are leading to the discovery of the uh, basically phishing site and turning into the red so what are these things so in every website there are the meta tags okay not every website but most of the website there are meta tags so what exactly is the meta tag saying meta tag is saying if this website is available for scraping or not that's what meta tag is saying and most of the in the website this particular meta tag is present and they are saying unable to scraping okay for example google and for example uh, live.com also or office.com also so what you can do is you can basically remove that particular meta okay you can say remove the meta okay so this is the solution for this particular now next thing that we are missing in the fish lead is basically we are not blocking the bots why because if you check any popular website what they does is they enable the javascript bots in your browser on the client side so what this bot does is or what this particular code javascript code does is it will check the your browser integrity or you can say browser reputation it will check your original ip address it will check current domain name of the browser and it will send that, that particular data into the backend server to rectify it okay so that's what it is creating the problem so let's say you are creating one phishing website then what will happen it will take the client's original ip addresses it will take the current domain whatever the client is opening and it will send back to the original uh, website uh, server and this way they will know okay something is wrong in the connection our domain is this one but my response or my bot response is saying the domain is different okay so this way they might be uh catch you and turn into the your uh, your link into the red okay now how exactly we can remove that first of all we can modify the whatever the data is being sent to the server or the fly using force post okay there is a one method called force post 
in the uh, fishlet that we can use to modify the second thing is remove the bots completely using sub filters okay sub filter so you can use the any of these two methods both of the methods are quite efficient it really depends on your situation your website which method you should be using it okay now in this particular video i know that i'm not giving you directly solution so what is the directly solution like i'm not showing you where to modify the source code i'm not showing you how exactly we can set up i'm not showing you how uh, we can create a foolproof fishlet but try to understand this video will get little bit bigger if I do that. And uh, apart from this, I already have fully fledged course recorded on this particular thing. How to do it, how we can do it. And I am also offering the modify source code in it also. So please do one thing. Please check the link in the description or go to the shop.fluxet.com where you will find both of the things. The training material also and you can find the uh course also right so yeah you can check that out and thanks for watching and see you in the next if you have any question then you can put on the comment also or you can put on the fluxet.com also where the community will community will help you to resolve your issues and yeah that's pretty much all and i conduct the lives on the sundays so if you have any question you can ask me in the live also okay yeah pretty much all thanks for watching